Welcome back to another episode of Vile Villain. I am your villainous host, Deadward, and today there is no exclusive. No exclusives this week at all so far, but I know why. Funko is running a special right now that I believe is 20% off, and if you order over $50 worth of stuff, you get free shipping. All this is online, obviously, but the big news is coming, and I believe it's coming Friday. I haven't been collecting all that long, but from what I understand, every year, <laughs> every year Funko does the 12 days of Christmas or maybe they're just calling it 12 days now I think I don't know anyway they release something every single day and they are doing it again this year they have said that one of those days will be a 10 inch pop and I believe that they've released what that 10 inch pop will be but this one will only be available online this won't be available at HQ or Hollywood it's only available if you order the bundle of all of these pops in one. I don't know what that's going to cost, but it won't be cheap. Rumor has it it's $300. If it's $300, I'm probably not getting that. But I don't know. The 10-inch pop is Frankenberry, and it looks badass. I do know that for the 12 days, every single item will be a pop, and there will be a 10-inch. I don't know if Frankenberry is supposed to be part of that, or if that's just an exclusive little extra whatever to go in the online bundle but that alone makes me wonder. That doesn't mean I'm empty handed today though. I did pick up something fresh from Funko HQ just because it looks so badass. I bought the Iron Spider. Yet another Spider-Man, but this one is so damn cool. Let's pop into it. Avengers Assemble. Hands down the coolest Spider-Man pop I have ever seen. He's shiny, almost to the point of being metallic. I would actually call this metallic. There's a name for these mechanical spider arms, and I don't know what it is, but they're damn cool looking. So you have your typical Spider-Man red webbed head, and it's really cool that they really sculpted the webbing into this. It really adds some detail to this. He is black around his eyes, his eyes are actually red, and they have like a grid texture to them with a kind of a pupil bulging out in the middle. Really adds a little extra detail. One hand, he's going thwip. The other hand is holding the Infinity Gauntlet. I didn't even notice that when I bought this, but it's definitely a cool feature. Uh, definitely the Iron Spider suit, being it's all shiny and metallic. He has red on his abs. The spider logo is made of gold. The rest of the suit is blue, except for his hands and boots, which are also red, trimmed in gold. That same web sculpting goes down to his boots as well. And he's not standing there, which is really cool. He's actually in like a jumping pose or web swinging pose. I don't know. Yeah. This Spider-Man, he's ready to do business. He does come on a stand to get him up in the air. Friendly neighborhood bobblehead. This is the Iron Spider holding the Infinity Gauntlet from Funko HQ and other places. Being the huge Star Wars nerd that I am, I did pick up another pop. This is nothing new. But this pop did come in the Smuggler's Bounty, which means you couldn't order it just separate. Of course, being at Funko HQ, sometimes I have access to these things, and this day was no disappointment. Now, when it comes to The Phantom Menace, that movie, it's hit and miss for me, as it is for a lot of people. A lot of people just trash it, they hate it outright. I like the movie, I hate elements of it. But one element I certainly liked was Sebalba. <laughs> So Bubba was available in the Bounder Smuggly, Smuggler's Bounty. <laughs> so Bubba was available in the Smuggler's Bounty monthly box you could order. Monthly box that was available to order. Usually came with maybe a t-shirt or a glass or a pop or two. Almost always a pop or two, I believe. And I've always liked this pop and I've liked this character. So let's pop into this. Today's color is red. This pop does not disappoint. Great sculpting on this, a lot of detail. Let's start with this helmet. Uh, it has goggles on it. You can see they are translucent. And from what I can tell, there are no painted eyes under there. I think the sculpt is there, but there's no painted eyes, which kind of makes it lighter and you can tell more that it's translucent. However, it just makes me want to look under there even more. Cool brownish helmet, kind of a fin on the top, great detail on the back. It's kind of ribbed for her pleasure. He has these cool webbed kind of ears, these weird catfish tentacles that hang off of his face on the side. They both have jewelry ornaments and hanging down from his nose. He has a cool muzzle, lots of detail there. You can see his nostrils. 
He has kind of a snarl going on because he's a bulba. He was kind of a dick. Okay, he was a big dick. You can see he's standing on his hands. His shirt sleeves go all the way down and turn into fingerless gloves on his hands. It's a really cool detail. Even his neck has some detail about it. There's some sculpting there. His feet are tiny and in sort of a T-Rex pose. Kind of a ribbed shirt going on. What looks to be a chainmail loincloth. Look at my taint. Look at it. Bobblehead. So happy I was able to get this. This Sabalba rocks. And I looked it up in the price guide. He's worth about $19, but I'm keeping him. I'm not selling him. So as I mentioned before, I am coming up on 100 subscribers, which I'm very happy with, considering how little time I've actually been doing this. I'm very happy with that. And thanks, of course, to people like Mama J and Spectre and Redneck Diaries. They helped me immensely with this. So I decided what I'm going to give out for my 100th subscriber. Justin Bieber. Just kidding. I'm not giving out Justin Bieber. Nobody wants that. I have special plans for Justin Bieber. He won't like it. So I'm a big fat liar. I haven't decided yet what I'm giving out or even how I'm going to give it out. But uh, I'm thinking along the lines of something maybe Funko exclusive since I have access to that sort of thing. Also, maybe I'll give you a choice of like three. You choose whoever wins, whatever, however I do it. Haven't done it yet. I still need seven more subscribers. Maybe for the fun of it, I'll throw in a Funko bag and some flyers that they have laying around there. Something you guys wouldn't normally have access to. Something that doesn't really mean anything to me, but if you're a collector, you might want this sort of thing. I don't know. If not, throw it away. Whatever. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Seven more subscriptions, and I will be giving something away. Like this episode, share it with the world. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think on the contest, how it should be done. Give me some ideas. This is my first contest. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go.